Fish on. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's going to be a big sheep's head right there. That's going to be a big sheep's head. That's going to be a big sheeper. Oh, a black drum. Black drum. Big black drum. Big black drum. Nice. Nice. I haven't had a big black drum in a while. He's going to be a keeper, too. He's definitely a keeper. Boy, that is a good one. That is a good one. Come on, buddy. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. Don't get off of there. Don't come off of there. Nice drum. Love the way these things fight. Guys, I have a, a super, super duper small hook on here. I mean, it is so flipping small. I don't want to lose this fish. I do not want to lose this one. Thought I had a big sheep's head. This is even better. Black drum, my favorite fish, man. Probably my second favorite fish to eat right there. Second or third favorite. They fight so friggin' hard. They just don't give up. All right, buddy. Come on. This is where it gets dangerous, right here. I can't tell how good he's hooked. Yeah, he looks like he's hooked pretty good. He doesn't want me to grab him, though. That's a good deal. Keeper black drum. Heck yeah. Nice. Oh, I'm dunking my reel. <laughs> I am so excited right now. <laughs> nice. I already know this guy's a keeper. I'm going to get him bled out, and then we'll, we'll measure him afterwards. Heck yes. 20 and a half on the black drum. Nice. Got that guy on a shrimp that was broken, oh, about in, in thirds. A live shrimp, I like to break the tail off and uh, gives them a little bit of scent. They stay alive that way, but uh, that's a good little trick for catching fish. You know how small that hook is? <laughs> Super small. Man, thing is like a number six, maybe. Really, really small. I put a small hook on there because the pinfish are so small. I just saw a bunch of pinfish. We got something in there. Pinfish. Nice. We found them. Grunts. Grunts and pinfish. That's what I was getting those snappers on when I was fishing with Willie. Whew. All right, I think this eight foot, three eighths inch mesh net, just it just got Christmas treed really bad. It's uh, I gotta stick with the five foot in the kayak the eight foot is just too difficult to handle it's too much net to throw you just can't get enough height on the net to get it to open fully but anyway we got about three dozen pinfish greenbacks and um little little uh pig fish so let's see if we can go catch some fish with what we've got i got about three dozen shrimp now so we had about six dozen baits all together i'm gonna go ahead and set this on autopilot headed in the direction that i want to go here and I'll get my net un-Christmas treed while I'm cruising. Look at that goodness. <laughs> Give this trap a drop right here in the grass. What are you doing, buddy? You need to go over there. Your owner's calling you. All right, let's go check the pinfish trap. Oh no, 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 spot lock. The rope came off of my trap. Oh crap. Uh-oh, don't explode the life vest. I almost forgot about it. Well, actually I did, I jumped in the water. I got my inflatable vest on. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I forgot to take my life jacket off. I was reaching down 
to get that thing out from underneath the kayak and I just inflated this thing. Well, I was wondering if my seat... <laughs> oh man, the freaking rope is just rotten on this trap. I got a mess on my hands. All right, we got to take the life jacket off so we don't explode. Ah. All right, well, if there was anything in there, I probably scared it out. Let's take the remote off here. About to get wet. All right, we got nothing in there anyway. Dang it, man. Look at this. Watch. There wasn't any pinfish in there anyway. Jeepers, man. Well, I got the net on Christmas tree, but look at the mess I made in my kayak. Holy buckets. <laughs> All right, so it is one o'clock. I've been on the water for about, what, two hours now? Just messing around, catching bait. I really have not fished seriously yet. Heck yeah, baby. Got me a big freaking black trim. I just saw a massive sheep set on that piling right there. Flipping giant. A giant sheep set. I'd like to catch that dude. Heck yeah. This dock's holding some fish. There's a hit. Is that a hit? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a hit right there. Definite hit. You get it? Oh, he's way back here. Oh yeah, here we go. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. That's another good one. Don't be a catfish. Don't be a catfish. It's a big one. Whatever it is. Oh, he's digging. He is digging. Big freaking sail cat. Huge sail cat. Is that a sail cat? Uh, it is not a sail cat. Ugly old hard head. Well, I'm having my fun catching catfish today. No doubt about it. I thought I saw some catfish come swimming in. You can have the hook. He definitely swallowed it. He definitely swallowed it. See you, bud. I'm going to head over to the Rad Reef. I haven't been there in like two years. Hopefully the locals have not bombarded that spot and fished it out. So we'll see if there's anything holding over there. Yep, that's a hit. There we go. Oh, dang it. Did I get him? Yeah, there he is. There we go. Nice mang, baby. All right. Finally, we got one. He looks like he's about nine and a half. Thanks for the catch. Sweet. Took me 22 minutes, but I got one. Let's see if we got another one under there. Or over there. I know they're over there. I've had all kinds of good hits. And I've had some hits that weren't so good, too. Comes, oh, there he is. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Nice. Big fat snapper. Heck yeah. Big old fat man. It's getting ready to start raining. It is getting ready to come down. Here it comes. About to get wet. We're going to measure this guy. Yeah. Too close. Nine and fifteen sixteenths. Nice. Woo! Look at the wind, guys. Storms moving in. Look at the wind. Woo! Let's get another one. I want to get me a keeper. Oh, that was a good hit. That was a good hit. He smacked it. There we go. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, I lost him. Dang it. Oh, oh, oh. That was a good one. 
There he is. Oh, ho, ho. that's a keeper, Mang, there. That's my keeper. That's my keeper there. Unless it's a jack. That's a good fish, man. That is a really good fish. Oh, big mangrove snapper. Big freaking mang. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Rad Reef has got some fat snappers. Heck yeah, baby. Heck yes. Would you look at that? Big old fat snapper on the Rad Reef. Woo -hoo. That's a sweet one, baby. Woo -hoo. Get back on them snappers. There he is. There we go. Nice, a little bit of tutor. Little tutor. Are you kidding? Little tutor. All right. Thanks, buddy. See ya. There he is. There he is. That's a hit. That's a definite hit there. That's a definite hit there. Get it? There we go. Get out of there. There we go. That's a good one. That's a, oh baby, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. That's a big one. Dude, that is a nice fish. Oh, he rocked me up. No. No, he got me in the structure. Oh, that's it. Cut off. Completely cut off. Dang it. Ah. Ah. What a good fish. What a flipping good fish. Wait all that time. Man. Wow. All I can say is wow. <laughs> Defeated. I'm going to get this mangrove snapper filleted up. Filleted up. We're going to cook him up out here on the Rad Reef. That's the plan, man. Storm coming. Look at that. It's coming. Hopefully we can get this done before the storm. Hopefully I can get a fire started and all this wind. We'll just have to see how that goes, but we are going to get this guy filleted up. My 12 inch mangrove snapper filleted up, cleaned up and cooked up. That's the plan. If I can stay right up against this seawall, we can make it happen. And it looks like the spot lock, the spot lock is cooperating. It's going to keep me right up against the seawall. So. I think we're gonna be good. I think we're gonna be good. Delicious snapper. Get that rinsed off good. Whoop, don't lose that meat. So much friggin' stuff, but I needed everything that I brought to make the adventure happen today. Right? I'm about to lose a, some bait buckets. Ah, crap. Well, hopefully they're not going to fall out. I have to get them before I leave. Actually, I should fix that now. <laughs> if I can reach them. If I don't do it now, I'll forget. And I'll lose two bait buckets. And that'll be even more losses to add to the trip. We don't need that, right? I'm gonna have to reposition the kayak. It's too windy right here. We got fire. We got fire. Good deal. All right, let's get us a pan in here. Oh my God. I didn't bring the pan. We can't do a catch and cook without a pan. Ma, are you kidding me? got an idea we need to improvise dang it I want to do a catch and cook on the water mangrove snapper on a fork season this guy up in the wind yeah buddy doesn't that look good all right chef Paul you're gonna have to do your magic cooking over an open flame this is the way we do it right here this is not gonna be the prettiest catch and cook I've ever done guys <laughs> no doubt about it the whole plan 
The whole plan was to do a catch and cook. The whole plan today. Start to finish. Doggone it. Oh, look at that. Looking like seared, seared tuna, man. It's actually gonna taste pretty dang amazing. Look at that. Oh, it's gonna be delicious. One snapper filet, done. Oh my God, that is so good. All right, let's get this other snapper seasoned up good. That's looking good. I think we're done, guys. That's looking good. That's looking delicious. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, stay there. Don't blow off. Oh, look at that. Landed right on the right on the plate. And here come the flies. Cocktail sauce. A few shrimp. Dude, red lobster could not have done it better. Catching cooking on the water. Looking good. Looking absolutely delish. Cheers to another successful catch and cook in the kayak at the Rad Reef. I love it. Oh, that's good. Well, uh, check this goodness out right here. Done to perfection. Look at that beautiful white meat. Oh, that tastes so good. Redfish magic is delicious without butter. Who would have known that? Definitely not me. Oh, that is so good. Look at that. Look at that. The best thing about this is I didn't overcook it. Oh. You just can't beat it. Cannot beat it. And we know the store-bought cocktail shrimp knocked it out of the ballpark again nice 